In early August, the Youth Channel had the opportunity to travel to Philadelphia. During their travels in Philly, they learned that the Philadelphia Police Department is attempting to adopt the broken window and stop and frisk policies of New York City. The Youth Channel decided to investigate these matters. I mean, you got, you got some cops out here that are good cops, and then you got your bad cops. Just as well as the good cops and the bad cops out here in New York. Um, you got cops who are doing the stop and frisk. You got cops who are just harassing people just for nothing. You know, just the same way as you see in New York City. So there's really no difference, but uh, just as well as it is out in New York. It is not a good thing because they think all black men or, you know, Hispanic men of any, you know, anything outside of the maximum, you know, ethnicity, they do target for that. You know, they think that they all are uh, bad people or out for bad. And sometimes when they do arrest them, I do see a lot of aggression, you know, when it comes to, and it might not even be that bad, you know, but I do feel that they do target us black people and us Hispanic people. I have a mixed breed daughter, so I'm quite sure, you know, I, I think about her as well, you know, and, and, and I mean, I can say that. They do target them, which I feel like everybody should be treated the same. You know, they do use a lot of aggression towards people of color. I'm a professional dancer, a street dancer, artist. We're not begging for money. We're doing something that you actually like to see, and we're giving you a chance to donate due to the cause that we can go around the world and spread the same message. So it's, it's, it's always an up and down between the rights and wrongs and why and why not and should we help them or should we not? Because they see us so often that they, they look at us as regular people and we would, that's what we appreciate, that we are normal people just like everyone else walking in the street. But just a dance group. We try to let them know the positive message that we like to spread. We started just the hitting on the streets just, just to spread the word. And it just always was a struggle on trying to give the message to the police officers that we're not trying to do anything to harm anybody. Um, they, they give us rules saying that we can't do it due to the fact that we can harm ourselves. From my own experience that I've thought about, I've laid in the cell for years and thought, how could you reach the people? And one of the things, like I said, is a nonprofit organization. It starts nonprofit organizations that deal with uh, uh, like a law library, and you teach the children about the time from the time of arrest to incarceration, conviction and incarceration. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, I think you got things like mothers in charge, but that's geared to like individuals that's fallen. But that's really not touching bases on certain problems. Like, yeah, that's touching bases on individuals and mothers that's grieving. You got certain the mother picking up her kid to get on the bus with three other kids at five o'clock in the morning to work two jobs, or an individual coming home from jail trying to do the right thing. And I have friends that's come on, did that coming home, and they're trying to do the right thing, but they're in, the, in their mind they're looking like, damn, like. I have a felony, all I can do is, maybe he, he is, he, he might be smarty, he might be the next fucking Bill Gates, but you never would know that because he got a felony because he had to try to feed his kids or something like that. I'm not necessarily saying committing crime is right, but you know, it all goes hand in hand with police corruption and stuff like that. I feel as though police don't take into account what we have to do to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. That the people know that the mothers are hurting. The mothers are losing kids. We must do something about it. We must walk if it takes however long and whatever long. We have to do what we have to do. And that's why we stand here. The message for any mother that lost a child, I'm going to tell you here, it's a pain that you'll never forget. Get involved and be the voice of your son. Always remember your son. Crying is nothing wrong with it, but instead of laying down and dying and letting the same person that murdered your son have your soul as well, do something about it. Be the voice of your child long as you can be the voice. Always speak up for your child. And any organization that asks you to tell your story, be proud of what you do.